On the other hand, in kado, not only the finished work, but also the process of arranging flowers is considered important. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. One of the things you're looking forward to when you come to Japan might be seeing the beautiful cherry blossoms and autumn leaves. Japanese people have been in love with nature since ancient times. And one of Japan's traditional cultures to appreciate it is kado, which is the art of flower arrangements that has a history of over 600 years. Although we generally translate kado as Japanese flower arrangements, we actually have a different form of art called flower arrangement, flower arrangements in Japan. But then, how is kado and flower arrangement different? So today, I'll explain about the history of kado and the three main differences between kado and flower arrangement in Japan. By watching this video, you'll be able to understand everything you need to know to enjoy the flower culture in Japan. So I hope you can enjoy this video till the end. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. First of all, let me start from talking about the history of kado. It is generally believed that the origin of kado can be traced back to the Muromachi period. It was when Japan resumed trading with China for the first time in 600 years to stimulate the economy and started importing their paintings, vessels, and traditional crafts. In order to beautifully decorate the guest rooms with these imported items, which were considered to be the top grade of all goods at that time. The shoinzukuri style of architecture was invented. This is the style of a Japanese room that we see very often even today, including the tea rooms where we hold the tea ceremonies. Its biggest characteristic is that it has a tokonoma, which is a corner of the room that is one step higher than everywhere else. This is where the house owner will place their finest Chinese pottery and let the guest, especially in the highest social status, sit near it to express the host's hospitality. As I've explained in my video where I talked about the upper and lower seats, this is a culture that we have even today. But why did they suddenly start making a part of the room a little bit higher? It comes from the culture of the room called Jodan no ma, where the lords and vassals would meet. As you can see in this picture, the lords would sit in these rooms where the floor is higher than where his vassals are to clarify the hierarchy of status. The tokonoma was considered to be a mini version of this, and that's why the important items were placed there, and the closer you sat near it, meant you are a higher rank person. In the beginning, Flowers were considered to be just one of the artistic objects that decorated the tokonoma along with the other items. Later, however, people who specialized in flowers began to increase, and flowers that had been a part of the decorations gradually became objects of appreciation as independent works of art. Eventually, flowers began to be arranged in a formal way with a certain principle, and this was the beginning of kado. Currently, there are different ryuha styles of kado, just like budo martial arts. Each style has its own way of approaching flowers and life and forms to express their way of view. Out of the 300 or more ryuha styles, let me introduce the three major ryuha of kado, ikenobo, sogetsu, and ohara. The oldest and largest style called ikenobo emphasizes the importance of making the best of the flower's natural state. Not only do they use beautiful leaves and flowers, but they also consider insect-eaten leaves and withered branches to be the same as young leaves and blooming flowers. They believe that the spirit of kado 
is to find beauty and harmony in them. However, the Sogetsuryu has a different vision. The characteristic of the Sogetsuryu style is that it is free for formalities and values the individuality of the creator. Many of their creations defy stereotypes, and they even incorporate stones and metals into their work. Lastly, the Ohara Ryu style is a style that invented a way to arrange the traditional Japanese flowers with the Western flowers. When Japan opened its gates to the world during the Meiji Restoration. So, as you can understand, just like other Japanese traditional cultures, Kado is a deep culture with a long history and a mixture of different values. So now that you've understood the history of Kado, let's start comparing it with the Japanese flower arrangement culture. The art of flower arranging began when Japan westernized in the end of the 19th century, and when western table settings and displays of flowers on them were introduced. A water-absorbing sponge is placed inside the vase, and flowers are inserted into the sponge to create a beautiful shape. These are the three main differences between kado and flower arrangements in Japan. One, different tools. Two, different points of emphasis. Three, different ways of arranging flowers. One, different tools. Both kado and flower arrangements require many different kinds of tools and items to form its art, but these three are especially different. One, flowers. Two, scissors. Three, tools to hold flowers. From what I've explained so far, you might think that kado uses Japanese flowers and flower arrangement uses Western flowers. That is half correct. Flower arrangement only uses Western flowers in general, but kado uses both. Chrysanthemums, lilies, gentians, and bellflowers are the most commonly used as Japanese flowers. But Kado also uses a lot of roses, carnations, garbellas, and other western flowers too. Next, the scissors used to trim the flowers and stems are different. Flower arrangement mainly uses these kind of scissors, which are less tiring and allows a more firm grip with fingers. This is because flower arrangement requires frequent use of scissors to cut the flowers into small pieces. On the other hand, Kado uses scissors that look like this, although it may vary depending on the school. It is because we cut tree branches more often than in flower arrangement, and these scissors, it's easier for you to put more power. Lastly, the tools to hold the flowers are different. Flower arrangements are made by inserting flowers into a water absorbent sponge that is placed inside a vase. This sponge can be easily fixed to a desired angle and height just by inserting the flowers, so you can create whatever you want to express rather easily. The tools used for kado differ depending on the style, but the most commonly used tool is this with many thorns called a kenzan. Kenzan literally means a mountain of swords, but it looks more like a mountain of needles. In Kado, large and heavy branches are often used, so the heavy kenzan is required to support them instead of a light sponge. Even a kenzan with a diameter less than 10 centimeters can weigh several kilograms, so it's actually much heavier than you imagine. Two, different points of emphasis. Next, Kado and flower arrangement focuses on different things as an art of flowers. Flower arrangement emphasizes the beauty and gorgeousness of the work. Kado emphasizes nurturing one's spirit and developing values through arranging flowers. The flowers arranged in flower arrangement are beautifully and gorgeously arranged to decorate a table or to be a gift, emphasizing the volume and density of the flowers. On the other hand, in Kado, not only the finished work 
but also the process of arranging flowers is considered important. Like Budo martial arts and tea ceremony, Kado is one of the paths and ways that aims to forge the minds of practitioners and facilitate the development of character. In the process of arranging flowers, it is necessary to confront and distinguish the individuality of each flower, formulate a plan to finish the flower as a work of art, and bring each flower together in harmony. In Kado, you can acquire intuition, the ability to see the essence of a problem, and consideration for others by handling living flowers. Ultimately, the goal is to express the human heart through flowers. 3. Different ways of arranging flowers. Then lastly, these are the two main points that are different in terms of specifically how the flowers are actually arranged. 1. Where the flowers are enjoyed. 2. How the space is used. Since flower arrangement was originally developed to decorate tables, they can be viewed from any direction. The flowers are often found in an elevated position to be viewed at the height they are placed on a table or stand. However, since kado was originally developed to display flowers in the tokonoma, the flowers are basically viewed only from the front, so they are arranged so they look beautiful just from one side. Also, when placed in a tokonoma, the main flower is often much higher than the vase because it is almost at floor level and the flower is looked down upon from above. Another difference is the flowers arranged in flower arrangement can be carried around after they are created, but flowers in kado cannot be carried around that easily. In kado, the flowers are not intended to be given as gifts or to be moved around. And since the vase is filled with water and is heavy, they can only be carried a few meters. If you want to take the flowers with you, you'll have to remove all the flowers in water and then rearrange them. It is said that flower arrangements is an aesthetics of addition and kado is an aesthetics of subtraction. In other words, in flower arrangement, the spaces are meant to be filled, but in kado, the spaces are meant to be utilized. In flower arrangement, the beautiful flower is the main character, and many flowers are used to fill the space to make it look more gorgeous. On the other hand, in kado, the main focus is not on the beautiful flowers, but on expressing nature and the human heart through flowers. So space is created between the flowers and branches. Please take a look at these two pictures. They are both pictures of a dandelion, but the first picture is taken where the flower is the main subject and the shape of the flower itself looks beautiful. Meanwhile, the second picture captures the expression of the flower rather than the shape of the flower itself, as if the flower is stretching towards the sun and the plant is growing. Yes, that's right. The first picture represents the idea of flower arrangement, and the second represents kado. If you have a chance to enjoy kado, please pay attention to this point and take a look. By the way, what I've told you through this video is just a basic idea. Since both kado and flower arrangement are very artistic, and there are many different yuha styles and points of views, please understand that what I've explained does not always apply to every work of art. Then lastly, today's conclusion. The origin of kado can be traced back to the Muromachi period when Japan resumed trading with China and started importing their artwork. In order to beautifully decorate the guest rooms with these items, the shoinzukuri style with tokonoma was invented. The flowers that were considered to be just one of the art objects that decorated the tokonoma gradually became objects of appreciation as an independent works of art. Currently, there are more than 300 different yuha styles of kado, and each style has its own way of approaching flowers and life's and forms to express their way of view. The three main differences between kado and flower arrangements are 1. Different tools 
Two, different points of emphasis. Three, different ways of arranging flowers. Cuddle and flower arrangements use different flowers, scissors, and tools to hold the flowers. Flower arrangement emphasizes the beauty and gorgeousness of the work, while cuddle emphasizes nurturing one's spirit and developing values through arranging flowers just like other budo and tea ceremony. How the flowers are arranged in cuddle and flower arrangement are different in terms of where the flowers are enjoyed and how they utilize space. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards flower cultures in Japan, please hit the like button to help us boost this video to more people. And our goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And also, please check out our sub channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Domo, arigatouzaimashita! So, my team member Tomoko actually trained in flower arrangements, or I should say kado, sorry. Kado for, I think it was maybe two, three years. Mm -hmm. And she actually helped me to make this script for this video today. But I actually tried out kado for just a few days, I think, myself. Yes. So, you know, I love the art of flowers. I think it has like a lot of beautiful values and philosophy in it. But I myself definitely am not a artistic person. So in my first few um, days of training, the master and instructor gave me some flowers and he said, you can create anything you like. And I was like, uh, I don't know what I should make, you know. And I'm the kind of person who, mm, I think there will be other people who, for example, given some flowers and told, you can do anything with this, you'll, you'll take it positively. But I'm like a person who will be, just simply be really confused. So I personally love looking at the completed forms of art and, and kado, but me myself actually doing it, arranging it, uh, no thank you.